At 29, Derek Sanders says some folks have called him the youngest sheriff to hold the office in the state's history. I have high hopes. I, I, I do. Though he was sworn in about two weeks ago, he still climbs into the same car he was assigned to as a deputy. He's planning on continuing occasional patrols in his marked vehicle to keep his finger on the pulse of the community. My goal is at least once a week. Most people just want to hear that their boss is down there at the ground level and understands what they're doing. What he lacks in long-term experience, the new sheriff says he makes up for in energy and enthusiasm. I don't even feel like I should be a deputy. Like my my trajectory as a kid was not that path. So um, I felt privileged just to get to that point and then to end up being elected sheriff at 29 is like, it, it's mind blowing. But that's kind of where my passion comes from. Sanders' childhood was marked by adversity. His family often struggling in poverty and suffering the impacts of domestic violence and homelessness. He was forced to flee to shelters or hotels with his sister and mom when his stepfather became abusive. When he was eight, he participated in the Shop with a Cop program around the holidays and it left a big impression. We were homeless in Colorado and I got to basically participate in that event and uh, it was a pretty tumultuous time in my life. Obviously, we were back and forth between a shelter and a van that a church had donated to us. When he joined the Lacey Police Department as a community service officer, he participated in the Shop with a Cop program, this time helping other children to shop. He hopes to bring that program now to Thurston County. My goal as sheriff is to really focus on programs that I think can actually impact the community. He also plans to tackle the same domestic violence issues he experienced. Last year in Thurston County, it was reported that deputies responded to around 1,600 100 DV calls, equaling about four a day. Those resulted in more than 760 reports, more than 500 misdemeanors, and 150 to 200 felony arrests and referrals, with two reported homicides. We're just not doing ourselves any favors when it comes to domestic violence. It's so rampant in this community. On the condition of union negotiations, he says in 2023, his top priority will be to create a trained domestic violence team in the patrol bureau, with a goal of adding two DV response deputies per year for a total of eight after four four years. The idea is that they can go to court, they can build relationships with the victims so that there's actually a more personable kind of interaction there. At the Corrections Bureau, Sanders would also like to add two canine positions with a goal of no overdose deaths at the jail. Additionally, he hopes to phase in a reopening of the jail related to booking restrictions. Moving forward, he says his focus will be on engagement with the community. You just need someone who's reasonable, someone who's balanced, and someone who's willing to put in the time to actually engage with as many people as possible and make this feel inclusive. So that's my goal.